Would my wife, Jonna, my two boys, Malachi and Kenton, stand up so everybody knows who's most important to me in the room? This is my wife, uh, Jonna, my two little boys, Kenton and Malachi. They're five and nine years old. They're my life. The fact is, you know, events will come and go. Um, You know, being on the internet, it'll come and go. Nobody will remember this in a week. Uh, You know, working at runway inside the Twitter building, it'll come and go. The transportation business will come and go. Whether you become the governor or not, serving the state will come and go. You know, those that you serve right now, Sonny and Linda, their grandkids will be serving. You won't be here to serve eventually. All the things come and go, but you know what matters most is your family. Now, it's easy to say it's hard to show. (laughs) I wish that I could show my love to my family, my dedication, put them first with my actions the way that I feel in my heart. But it's important to be reminded of that. You know, because businesses come and go. You know, we're prosperous and then we lose everything, especially for extreme entrepreneurs. And we don't have a bunch of, uh, you know, safety around us. Um, you know what I care about with the future of the Bay? I mean, I just, I love this, these ima- this imagery back here. You know, I put this back here. Um, once, you see hashtag future of the Bay, you know, get your cell phone and share what's going on, be a part of the conversation. We asked four questions here. Right? What could happen in 10 years? Who inspires you most? What could happen in a year? What's the call to action? Like you jump in, like be part of the, be part of the conversation. That's why I put the hashtag up there. So you can post on Facebook or Instagram or you know, LinkedIn, wherever you want. And you can join the conversation. You can share your thoughts. You can talk about the people that shared tonight, their thoughts. But this event, it'll come and go. You know, my family's been here in the Bay Area. Uh, they landed in 1776. And Lieutenant Moraga founded San Jose, November 29th, 1777. I'm as local as you get. <laughs> you know, my two little boys are 11th generation residents of the Bay Area. My wife's ancestry happens to go back 10 generations to the chief of the Cherokees. So, you know, you think about how, how cool it is that my kids live in a country where on one side of the family they have this cool heritage with the Native Americans, on the other side, they have this cool heritage with the Spanish that came and actually, you know, with no, there's no internet, <laughs> there's no cell phones, there's no saws, there's no running water, no electricity, and Moraga and a priest and 14 men, women, and children helped create this, and they did it at peace with the Native Americans, fortunately. And you know what? His life has come and gone. I remember him. I talk about him, right? I think he's the first great entrepreneur of the Silicon Valley. But my life will come and go. And you know what really matters most is giving people hope. That's why these are future of events. This is the future of the Bay. You know, June 26, I have the future of blockchain because I personally believe blockchain and cryptocurrency is a part of that. Blockchain will make the world transparent and safe and it will be very, very good for humanity. You know, in uh, August 21st, I have the future of entrepreneurship. Because I believe entrepreneurs are the backbone of transformation. Those are willing to take a risk. They step out, try something new, believe in others, give people a job, make things happen with their voice, make things happen with their actions. And then in November 6, we have the future of voice. Because this Amazon Alexa, Microsoft Cortana, Apple Siri, Samsung Bixby, it's not going anywhere. Google Assistant, it's, it's staying. And we're going to start interacting with machines. You know what? We're not going to be driving a car. We're going to talk to our car. It's going to take us from where we want to go. We're not going to sit down and, and order groceries and then cook meals. We'll tell our machine what we want ordered and tell it when to cook the meal and how many people are coming over. You know, we're not going to wear glasses that just help us see. Pretty soon these glasses will have binoculars in them. And they'll take pictures and photos. And you'll whisper to your glasses, This sunset's awesome. Take a time lapse for five minutes, send it to my mom, tell her I love her and I'm thinking about her. The world is changing. And we get to be a part of this really unique time. This is the greatest time in the world to be alive. This is the greatest location ever to be alive in the world. We have so much access. I mean, there are people like Katie that are fighting to make a way for women. Her partner fighting to make a way for people of color. Right? Michael, fighting for those that are incarcerated. You know, Sonny, fighting for those that are caught up in gangs with you and your wife. People are fighting. Join the fight. Come on. 
If you are not part of changing the world or transforming the bay, look at all these people that are. Just grab a hold of somebody. I promise they'll put you to work. I promise they'll put you to work. They'll give you something to do. They'll let you be a part of something bigger than yourself. And time comes and goes, and, and the things that matter most are things like your family and things like being a part of a, of a, of a bigger thing than you, right? Being empathetic matters. Don't be so concerned with yourself, right? Being humble matters. Don't, be, don't, don't make it about you. Serve other people. Make it about others. Work hard. Hard work really matters, and we can't forget how much hard work matters because you know what? Not a single person that stood up here and was interviewed tonight is lazy. None of the people that stood up here have taken the easy road. It took hours and hours and toiling day after day, week after week, month after month, for many of you, decade after decade after decade of investing your life over and over and over and over and over again. That's what it takes. And when people let you down, it's too bad. That's just the way it is. People are frail. <laughs> we let ourselves down, right? Amen. We have the tendency to implode our own lives. And so as I wrap up, I love to start and end on time. And it's 8.59, so the time is near. <laughs> I want to thank the sponsors for this event. Uh, I especially want to thank Runway. I want to thank... <laughs> For, for those that don't know, uh, Runway is an incubator here in San Francisco with about 80 different uh, companies represented, people in co work spaces. We have a blockchain accelerator, the accelerator of the Female Founders School. And uh, this place is really making a difference and has for a while. And I encourage you to get involved, find out what's happening here. You know, lend strength to this place, network with people, let them know about this place. I want to thank Ed Silvoso and his whole team at Transform Our World. Thank you for sponsoring this event. Thank you for the way that you have, in many ways, sponsored my life. Uh, you know, it's, it's Ed that really has stepped up many times and said, you want to do that? I'm in. And I'll say, well, I don't really know what I'm doing. I, mean, I, was, just, I, I was just talking. <laughs> I was just verbally processing. I was just bouncing things off you. He's like, no, no, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm behind you. Let's make it happen. And I really appreciate that about you, Ed, and your whole team. Uh, Jeff, I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for your heart for California. I want to thank you for sponsoring. You know, without you, right, we wouldn't be able to have a media team and food. The same thing goes for Michael Brown. Thank you so much for being here, for uh, supporting us the way that you have. And Jackie, thank you so much. You know, we really, really genuinely appreciate you. You know, I don't actually know what I'm doing with events. I just had an idea for an event back in October, and now they keep happening because I love them so much. But I'm not an event guy. I'm just a business guy trying to love his family, you know, trying to team up with people that are doing greater things than me so I can draft behind them, learn from them. Um, I want to thank Hoverboard. Uh, I've been had the privilege of working with Hoverboard. You can check this out, the Geoblade at Hoverboard.com. Hoverboard has been so kind to uh, be involved with me for several years, and I really believe in what they're doing because I think they're going to change transportation. Um, I want to thank Gina and Annalise, and AM, and all the rest of the volunteers, without you uh, being here and supporting us and being the backbone of this, none of this would happen. I want to thank uh, Doug Ferris and his team at Ghost Hand Productions. You know, the reason why this video looks so good and sounds so good, and the reason we have, like, the ability to live stream and have the archive is because I believe so much in the message of hope that I intend to create a documentary out of this content. And so I said, who's the very best I've ever met that could help me? And it's Doug Ferris and his team at Ghost Hand Productions. So I want to thank you, Doug, for being here. I want to thank uh, Sean Buckley and Jesse Maitland and uh, Whitney Hancock and uh, Ryan Lupton and Ryan Collins all coming down from Reading to support this event. I want to mention Bethel Tech, BethelTech.net. It's a new approach to an online training. I'm very, very excited about what they're doing. Uh, but I just want to thank the people that came out here to support. All the speakers, I learned so much from you. You know, I'm going to listen to what you said when you were interviewed over and over again. Now I'm going to watch this event. You know why? Because I care about fi being filled with hope. And here's the final thing I want to tell you. And uh, if you want to ride the hoverboard around, and, and then we're going to do demos after this, and we can cut the live stream right after I kind of say this last word. 
If there's one thing I know, you may not remember a lot of things that were said. There's too many people being interviewed. But I hope you remember how you feel. And I hope you remember feeling filled with hope. You know, the person that gives the most hope away has the most influence. The person that has the most influence has the ability to actually manifest your vision of what should be. If you want to manifest your vision of what should be, you need to have influence over people's lives. If you want to have influence over people's lives, you need to give them hope. Not judgment, not rules, not tasks. Don't make them cross the T's and dot the I's. Don't make them fall into line. Don't demand anything of them. Live your life. Let your life be the the guide of how to live and give hope. Give hope for the rest of your life. May that be the case for all of us. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your attention online. Thank you for being here, taking time out tonight. It's hoverboard time. There's still some food and drinks. Have a wonderful time with each other. Thank you so much.